Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about a range of interesting topics that have been brought up by you guys, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is my second day in a row doing one of these videos, and that's because you guys have sent so many interesting topics that I wanted to cover it before the new Flash episode. So I have to cover them, right, because they are really interesting, and obviously I've touched upon similar things before, but this is where I'm going to go in detail and give you my actual thoughts about all these individual topics, about what could potentially happen in the Flash's future, and we had good reception to yesterday's video, so obviously I wanted to make another one. But remember guys, tonight The Flash is on. I'm going to be putting out my review after the episode airs. It's the Godspeed episode, so super excited about that. Also, I don't think Superman and Lois is on tonight, so don't be looking for that. However, I do have a Superman and Lois theory video cooking up to come out sometime soon. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. The first question comes from Jamie on YouTube who asks, What do you think the plot at the end of the season will be, and how do you think it will affect Season 8 along with the first few crossover episodes? So we touched upon the Season 8 crossover episodes in yesterday's video, however this comes at it from a different angle in terms of like how Season 7 is going to follow on into those crossover episodes at the start of Season 8. So the way that the season could potentially end, I'm not entirely sure about it, however we know it's including Nora, we know it's including Bart, we know they're supposedly going to defeat Godspeed, however like I said yesterday, Eric Wallace has teased that potentially the Godspeed arc, the fourth graphic novel of this season, is potentially going to extend into next season. Maybe that's what you're going to be seeing at the start with the crossover episodes and maybe they need to call in the rest of the superheroes to try and take down Godspeed or whatever villain surrounds all of this Godspeed War stuff that is happening at the end of Season 7. Obviously, we don't have many episodes left. We have four episodes left of The Flash Season 7, and it seems like Eric Wallace is teasing that maybe the story is going to continue, and it could affect those first few crossover episodes in Season 8. So, thank you for the question. Let's move on to the next one. This comes from Devolvi on YouTube who asks, Do you think we will get a pregnancy reveal from Bart? like in Young Justice. So basically what he's asking here is, is Iris going to get pregnant by the end of the season? Well, they've been heavily teasing this throughout like the last two to three episodes. I mean, literally everything that Barry has said and Iris has done has been in reference to them having a kid because they've been trying like non-stop and they even went away on like a mini holiday and that's why they were supposedly gone. Well, that was, you know, the show's excuse to not have Barry and Iris in the show. However, it does seem like we are leading up to some sort of pregnancy reveal that would obviously lead to the birth of Bart Allen and probably Nora Allen or whatever version of herself actually shows up at the end of the season. Obviously, they are from the future. They have time travel back in time, but we're talking about like a pregnancy reveal being like, oh yes, we are having a child and the child's going to come pretty soon. Although, you know, you won't get to meet that version like baby Bart just yet. So I think that's probably going to happen, it's definitely what they've been sort of teasing and what they've been getting to, so it would make a lot of sense. Okay, so the next question comes from Metron on YouTube who asks, What are the chances of The Flash getting a spin-off, and if possible, what character would you like to be the focus slash lead of their own show? So I think when The Flash ultimately ends, there is a high chance that you're going to get a spin-off show, I think what would probably be most likely is a Bart Allen spin-off show. I'm not so sure about Wally West, I'm not so sure about Nora, because I don't think those actors would probably come back, like, for a whole show. I just don't get the feeling that they would. However, I feel like maybe Jordan Fisher could lead a Bart Allen show, and obviously they can make it a kind of Young Justice style show with Bart Allen and maybe some of these other heroes that we haven't met yet, like the ones you see in Young Justice. I think that could be a possibility, and I would really like to see that happen. I guess in terms of the other characters on the show, I don't really see many of them leading their own shows. Obviously, you've got new characters like Chester and Allegra, but I'm not sure if they could hold a show by themselves. Also, because they don't have, like, 
speeds to powers or something like that. Obviously, Allegra does have her powers, but it's nothing that special, and she isn't much of a leader as of right now. So it's kind of hard to imagine. Unlike with Supergirl, when Supergirl ends, I think someone like Nia could have her own show, and that's pretty obvious, right? However, with this, I would say probably Bart is the most likely. If they want to do anything to do with Young Justice or just him being sort of a speedster and them having like a Flash family show would be very nice. I think that's a pretty interesting option. Obviously, there's a chance of like a Jay Garrick prequel series, maybe establishing how John Wesley's ship became the Jay Garrick we know today. Obviously, he's showing up in Stargirl in the past. And maybe there is some sort of link they could do like a Justice Society of America show would be very interesting. Obviously, they've touched upon that in Legends and Stargirl heavily. But that's my theories in regards to that. So what do you guys think about all of that? Do you think there is going to be a Flash spin-off show when the show eventually ends? And what would you like it to be? Okay, so Maya asks a question on YouTube and she says... How are they going to fit the Five Night crossover in Season 8? So I think you're a little bit confused and I can totally get it because they've said like five episodes and normally when they do crossovers they do it night after night so they would do like five nights in a row. However, that's not what is happening this year because this is exclusively on the Flash TV show and the Flash isn't going to be running five nights in a row. That's not what is going to happen. What they're going to be doing is week to week so say one tuesday they air episode one then the next tuesday after they air episode two the tuesday after they air episode three and so on and so forth so hopefully that clears it up for you okay so lily asked a question on youtube and she says what do you think about all the pep talks in the flash because i think they're getting kind of annoying so this is something that i briefly touched upon in some of my streams recently we talked about it with Canada Graphs, I've talked about it on Eric's After Party, and a lot of people really don't like the pep talks, but I've kind of got used to it, I've mentioned this before, I think that it's just become like a part of the Flash, where, you know, it's a thing that happens in these superhero shows, where people need to be reaffirmed of like how important they are as heroes, and how great they can be, and that they can be better. It makes a lot of sense because a lot of the ideas behind being a superhero is about inspiring people. And if they're not inspired themselves, they need other people to make sure that they are performing to the best of their abilities. And that's where you get the pep talks. And so I've kind of accepted it. I don't mind it. Obviously, sometimes it's a bit too much and they do it way too often. However, I think it is like a necessary aspect of the show and people have just began picking up on it because it's happening a bit more than usual. But it's always been a thing in the show, like go back and watch all the past episodes and you'll see that it's always been there. But yeah, I get that people are finding it a bit more annoying with it happening a bit more than usual, but I'm okay with it. So let's move on to the next question. So this comes from Spoiler Free on YouTube who asks, in your opinion, could season 8 be the last one? The cast is always saying that the end is close. Well, there was some talk recently, like from Candace, she answered something on Instagram, but it wasn't very direct. Also, I think one of the cast members, I think you placed Camilla at a con, mentioned something about the Flash ending. However, that was at the point where there was a bunch of fake reports going around. And I'm pretty sure at least the actor for Camilla saw that and thought, oh, it's ending. Because, you know, she's already left the show by then, at the point where she was talking about the show ending, potentially. So she wouldn't have been informed by the CW or anything because she's already not, like, a main cast member and she was always just a guest star. So, obviously, she wouldn't be super in the know. Obviously, Candace Patton would be in the know. But the way she answered a question recently, and I can't find the screenshot, did put into question about how long the show is going to go on for. However, obviously, Season 8 has been confirmed, and we know that's happening. Grant has talked about going up to at least, like, Season 9 or Season 10. I don't know, really. I think I'm going to say Season 9 or 10 is a pretty good bet right now. Obviously, other cast members can leave. But I think Grant wants to stick around, and that is the key factor on how long the show is going to go on for, so I don't think Season 8 is going to be the last. Okay, let's move on to the next question. It comes from Ghost Radical one on YouTube. You asks, do you think Barry will vanish in this new timeline? So, in regards to this timeline, obviously this is what we have right now with the Godspeed War coming, and you have 
Bart and Nora showing up in the present. Obviously, this means that there is going to be some changes to the timeline. So, could Barry vanish at some point? I guess that's always a possibility if he somehow gets erased due to, you know, the impact of Godsby coming back from the future and probably messing around with everything and, you know, he is targeting Barry so there is a chance that somehow he messes up Barry's future and so I guess there is a possibility but I don't see any clear indications right now that anything big is coming up in regards to that. We will have to just wait and see as we always say. Okay, so let's move on to the final question. So the question is, will Gideon be created this season? And will Bart and Nora reference to how he creates it in the future? So obviously right now we are heading into a story, at least the next four episodes are going to be big on time travel and are going to be big on the future storylines. Earlier this season we got the reference that Barry becomes obsessed with the future at some point, that was confirmed. And for the longest time people have been speculating about when is Gideon going to be officially created because it was confirmed a long time ago, many years ago, that Gideon was created by Barry in the future. But we've still been waiting for that day to come. And with Nora and Bart coming back in time, is there a chance that they reference Gideon at all? I guess there is a high possibility and every time that time travel is involved somehow Barry goes back to Gideon and consoles with her because obviously she is an artificial intelligence and she has knowledge of the future so she is a very vital part of Team Flash and obviously she doesn't always pop up because that would be way too overpowered but I think there is a chance that she's going to show up in these next four episodes and so will Gideon be created this season? I think no, probably not but there might be a reference to when Barry does create her in the future. So that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did, it really helps out the channel. Also subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. And you can click on the top right corner to watch my latest video. But for now, remember guys, Flash is on tonight, my review is going to come out right after the episode airs. So please be sure to stay up wherever you are around the world. But for now, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.